Hi, I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to look at logic and math operations. So, they're found right here. That's the logic operations, and that's the math block. So, uh, for both of these blocks, you're going to want to have inputs into them, because if there's no inputs, then you're just using the defaults, and that's not particularly useful to uh, anything, really. Uh, so if we pull out the logic block first, and we'll go into the simplest mode, not. By the way, each of these are Venn diagrams, so that'll help you remind uh, remind yourself of what each of them does when you learn what they do. And to uh, illustrate what how this works, we'll get a touch sensor and put it in compare mode. So right here is your inputs for your true or false statement. It can be any true or false statement. So uh, right now the touch sensor is true when it's pressed in. So what this block is looking for is for it to not be true. So when it's not true, it will be it will output a true statement since the block is looking for it to not be true. Um, if it is true, however, then it's not what the block is looking for, therefore the block outputs a false statement. Because all the block is doing, all this output is, is what the block thinks, it's based on what the block is looking for, right? So basically it just changes around the true or false statement. Um, if we go to an AND, what we can do is there's you'll notice that there's two inputs so we'll need another one so we'll get a light sensor just for example could be any true or false statement as i said plug it into section b and right now the color sensor will be true if it is less than 50 or uh, 50 so basically for an and statement both of them have to be true in order for the block to be true. It's looking for both inputs to be reading as true. So both the light sensor reading less than 50 and the touch sensor is pressed in. And you can see the Venn diagram, just the, the black uh, section in between is um, where, this, where the uh, thing is true. And you see it's where A and B overlap, so when both of them are true. So, or you can see everything selected. That's because if one of them is true, so if either one of these are true, it'll output as true, or both of them. So, as long as one of them is true, then it the block will output a true. The only way that it's going to be false is if neither of them are true. So, this is uh, very similar to an OR, the X OR. Um, basically, what it is, is it has to be an OR. It can't be both. So, you'll see the center is uh, not highlighted in the true kind of color or whatever, the darker color that symbolizes that that's where it's true. So, one of them has to, one of them can be true, but the other can't. So, if the color sensor is less than 50 and the touch sensor is pressed in then it'll output false but if only one of them is pr pressed like say the uh, touch sensor is pressed in and it's greater than 50 then you're good and the block will output uh, true and obviously if both of them are false it'll output false so that's kind of the different options for the uh, logic operations block um, there are a whole bunch of different applications uh, for this, uh, mainly logically. So, like, if you're trying to do making sure that two different things are on track and uh, executing a um, secondary mission or something like that, or a maneuver, uh, if you realize that one of them's messed up, then that might help you. So then the other block is the math block. And for that we need two variables. And pull those out. And I already made two number block, number variables. So number one, number two. 
and with each write block you need a read block so we'll make it read numeric read numeric and you'll notice that it doesn't show you um, unless you hover over it so you could make a comment um, to say that what number it is so number one and then make another one um, yeah. there we go number two oh, comments are a bit finicky alright so that will help you remember and uh, let's make one three and let's make one two and then number one will plug into A and number two will plug into B so right now it's in add mode so it just adds the two numbers really simple subtract mode um, basically A minus B so that would be uh, 3 minus 2 so it would output 1 go to divide again A divided by B it's always that way uh, in some cases like multiplication and addition it doesn't matter which way uh, which direct which uh, one is first but for division and subtraction it definitely does so yeah that would be 3 over 2 it would output or 1.5 multiply a times b so it would output 6 through here and so here's where we get into the more complicated things that um, some FLL teams haven't um, looked at because uh, they're high school material for some of the things uh, so for absolute value is a useful tool um, I'll explain it briefly because it's not very long to uh, explain basically all it does is it makes sure that your input is a positive number so say you were putting in negative 5 all it would do is just change the output to 5 if you put uh, 5 in it would just keep it the same so it just changes any negative number to a positive um, I won't get into the how these actually work like work it's pretty simple square root you just have one value and then you square root it and you have an output I'm not going to get into math concepts because you can look at that look that up on Google um, a to the power of n uh, basically anything that's plugged into a is going to be your base and base number and n is going to be your ex your exponent and then finally advanced so Advanced has four inputs, so you can have up to four variables being plugged into it at a time. And you'll see if you click up here, you have a whole bunch of operations. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not going to go through all of them because they're they're math lessons, and this is a programming tutorial. So if you really want to know what they are, I'm sure you can find some Google or Wikipedia uh, article on them. And even some of them, I'm not sure exactly what they are. But, you know, there's division, um, whatever uh, floor is, I uh, don't know exactly what that is, but round, absolute, absolute is absolute value probably, uh, logarithm, uh, lawn, sine, cos, tan, arc, sine, arc, cos, arc, tan, and square root. So you can write them all out and do whatever operations you want, so it's not necessarily in order. And you can add whatever brackets and uh, things to order to change the order of operations. So you could do, uh, you could switch these around, and then it would just uh, change minus a plus b. So c times d minus a plus b. But yeah, um, if you want to learn more about the math part, there's plenty of resources out there for math lessons uh so yeah that's uh the math block and the logic operations block